Hi everyone, this is Mr. Plashel with a short introduction to a new unit on, um, I guess not a new unit, but uh, a new lesson about uh, nuclear reactions and transmutations of, um, of chemical elements. Uh, before we go and before you, you know, go and and do the different uh, types of decay and uh, natural as well as uh, artificial artificial transmutations, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about alchemy. Uh, historically, I, I'm sure you've heard the, the word alchemy or alchemists. Uh, it appears all the time in, in literature as well as in movies. Um, and, and even today there are, you know, alchemy, alchemistic org organizations and you can find a lot of videos on YouTube about, about alchemy. But historically, um, alchemists, they were, they were just people that were interested, I guess, in, in the different materials that, that exist in the world. Now, they could have been also just people that, you know, were flukes and, and they were just trying to find how to, how to earn easy money and, and uh, yeah. have an easy life. But, but historically, these, you know, kings and, uh, and monarchs and really rich people that could, um, you know that they had courts and and they had uh, you know many people living with them in their castle, making them happy, do whatever they they wanted to do. Uh, they they were rich, okay, for for one, the you know those those kings were rich, but they wanted to be even richer, okay, and they wanted to be kings and uh, and keep their wealth for as long as possible. So they had. They had this dream, and the dream was to, to, you know, to be able to produce gold, which was very, uh, you know, which is a, and you know, today still is a precious metal, uh, for which people are willing to pay a lot of money. I guess at that time the gold was the was the money, so they wanted to be able to, you know, take let's say, uh, an element that was found in abundance. Um, in nature and change it into gold so that they could become rich. And uh, the other thing is that they were looking for some kind of a substance that if they eat it or drink it, that they would, you know, live forever. And you find this in fairy tales and, um, you know, these science fiction things. Um, this idea of some kind of an elixir of life, uh, a substance, you know, that will heal you from any disease or when you, when you take it in, it will prolong your life. And uh, they were looking for people that, you know, that were claiming or, or were trying to find these things for them. And they developed these big labs and, and gave them equipment and, and time to, to work on finding the, I guess, the philosopher's stone, you know, something that will make gold out of other substances and the elixir of life. And, uh, and so the, these, these alchemists... Um, while they were trying to find uh, the philosopher's stone and an elixir of life, you know, they along the way they came up with a lot of uh, really useful things. Uh, I don't know, a, a glue. You know, maybe they developed a, a, some some kind of substance that can polish your shoes really well. Um, what they were really doing was more of a chemistry. It had nothing to do with transmutation. Nothing to do with changing one element into another element. Um, in these alchemistic labs, you, you can see these flasks, and then you know where they mix different chemicals. Um, but all of this work today, as we understand it, all of that has to do with the electrons, and the electrons go around the atomic nuclei. And um, no matter what you do with to the electrons, you know how you combine them, how you how you put two elements together, uh, or I mean, chemically, you know, when you bring them together and combine them with the electrons, or um, if if you take away electrons from a substance, if you add electrons to it, none of this really changes the the true nature of that of that matter, which of course is hidden in the atomic nucleus, in the number of protons and, and neutrons inside. And uh, so, to my knowledge, uh, no one has ever been able to you know, to find philosopher's stone. Uh, a substance or a device that could change other elements into gold. Now, um, interestingly enough, we can now do what, what these alchemists were trying to, 
to do. We can change other substances into gold. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, this produced gold, so the gold produced by changing one element into, into gold, these gold isotopes are not uh, stable isotopes of gold. They are all radioactive, and after some time, you know, they they will emit a, a particle uh, and, and change into a, yet another element. So they don't stay gold for long. They are they're not stable isotopes of gold. And the, uh, if you type into you know, into your web browser, into Google or some other search engine, uh, radioactive isotopes of gold, you will find out that there are many of them. And uh, but none of them are stable. Okay. Um, there is actually, and interestingly enough, uh, none of these radioactive isotopes of gold that are found, they're not found in nature. You will not find them. They're all, they were all artificially produced in, in labs by, by people that were doing not chemical reactions, but nuclear reactions. And this uh, whole following, the lesson that will follow uh, after this video uh, deals with nuclear reactions and, and what we call nuclear transmutation, is the changing of one element into another element. This is a process that is going on, uh, that is happening in the nature all the time, in the form of radioactive decay, natural decay. But we can also, um, you know, stimulate or, or start an, uh, a nuclear transmutation in lab uh, by, let's say, firing a neutron into into an atomic nucleus. There are other ways how to how to do this, um, but most of them involve neutrons. And changing the number of neutrons, which then changes the nuclear stability, and the new elements will will decay. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this lesson. Um, the big, the big, um, I guess, point in this introduction is that um, what alchemists were trying to find. Uh, so change one element into gold. We can actually do it now, but it doesn't last. So um, it's not a lasting change. Um, I guess you know people are on Earth. One of the things why we are here is to is to learn that we need to work to to get money. Uh, some people find one way to work. Uh, others, you know, some people work harder, some less. But uh, it's just not possible to change a piece of wood into gold. Uh, at least to my understanding, it's not possible. And and tr I think that trying to find or spending half of someone's life trying to find a way how to do it. it would be a waste of life there are much better things to do like right now it's getting springtime so just take your dog out or, or go out with your friends and and enjoy the nature <laughs>